Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Skull the Hero Slayer. So, I already played a um, pre-release version of this, and I'm not entirely sure what's changed. So we're gonna get into that real quick. What is it, Skull? Is there something you wanted wanted to say to me? Add trait. Ooh, okay. So increases attack uh, by 0%, so 5% each. So it probably goes up to a 50%. Swap cooldown. Slows time for everyone except for yourself. On sl swapping, generates 0 HP shield. One second on swapping. Shield, if not destroyed, decreases swap cooldown by a second. Skill attack, basic attack. Skill cooldown, 5% for each kill, up to... Okay. Max HP. Invincible for a second. Okay, so there's there's the iframes. I was wondering about that. Gonna take a while to get to that, though. What's alchemy? Destroy scroll items, get up to zero gold. Hopefully they have more than this. That's an okay meta progression, but... I like it when meta progression is a little bit more exciting. Well, anyway, we're just gonna dive into this. So this is super early access. Also, fair warning. Wait, well, is it really a warning? Uh, this game is Korean. Uh, so if you do launch this game, be uh, like if you do pick this game up and you you launch it, I would highly recommend uh, Battle Shrine. Well. I broke it. I'm not entirely sure if breaking it was the right... Right? Idea. Now, can I just... I can just unlock these guys. It looks like the enemies are a lot easier to stunlock in this one, at the very least. Okay. Anyway, uh, if you do pick this game up, I would highly recommend... Ow. Okay, stay away from the, uh, the tentacle. Because the tentacle is a jerk, and I can't kill it. Uh, check a Steam guide, because it'll actually tell you how to access English, because it launches in Korean. And that was a bit of a surprise for me. I was like, oh no, am I going to have to just like bail on this? And the answer is, no, actually, super easy fix. You just got to know what, what you're looking for. Okay, so we're getting a heck of a lot more darkness than I thought we would. But remember, I did previously was actually a fairly rare drop. I don't think I was supposed to break that battle shrine. Oh well. Yeah, I seem to do a lot more damage than I used to. Hmm. Because it... I think the enemies have a little bit more HP too? Which... Meaningless, I guess. It's definitely different from what I played previously. There's a lot of stun locking. For better, worse, out. Do not stand. Do not stand in the midst of that. Okay, so some of these guys are colored green. Oh, I see. It's because they're poisoned. That's what's going on here. Now, do we have anything else to care about? No. I think you stunlock easier. Oh, much easier. Oh, check. Okay, skeleton spear. So I've got... I got pokey. Uh, let's see. How do I switch? Bumper? There we go. That's how I switch. So I, I switch with the charge. That's neat. I like the fact that they give you target dummies. Okay. So somebody's healing these guys. And I am dying horribly. Oh, I see. It's the battle shrine. So the shrine truly is not for me. I was wondering about that. Okay, so big guys can't stun lock. Definitely... Ow. Uh, definitely have to take them a little bit more seriously. Oh, cool. And you do pick up your head now. Wow. That was fast. 
Okay, and it does aid you once you've destroyed it. Getcha. Alright, add trait. Oh, uh, what are we at? 60. So we definitely want iframes on dodge. Save up for that. But let's also work on basic attacks. We... If you can break the game. Nope. Okay. So he doesn't turn around when he's charging that up. Well, that's a good sign, at least. Also, chucking my head does a ton of damage. Okay, there we go. Please decease. I would desire my head. Thank you very much. Yeah, so chucking... Oh. Is that a heal? No, that's a shield. Okay. Beatings will continue until I freaking win. Them's the rules. So it does look like Collected Darkness might reset. But that shouldn't surprise too much. Oops. Ow. This guy is in a really inconvenient location. I don't like it. Anything else? Nope. Hello, yes, I would like to smack. If only he would actually hit his compatriots. Actually, he could just hit behind him with that attack as well. Oh, that's okay. I got some tricks. It also looks like I heal very occasionally from things. Well. My face. You stole my face! Guess it's less of a- Ow, 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 ow. It's gonna be difficult for me to immediately avoid a lot of hits here. Iframes will probably go a long way in making, making this a lot easier for me. Also different, uh, different skills. What's this one? Gargoyle. Hold the jump button to fly for a short period of time. Aerial basic attack speed, 50%. Turn to stone, fall on the ground upon swapping, and stomp enemies. So I've got my plinth with me. That does some damage. We'll see how this goes. Hello, yes? It's not really flight. I have a double jump and a hover. Oh, wait, no. I have a little bit more than that. I do kind of wish the, um, the left trigger when I was in the air would actually... Uh, let's see. How would I describe it? When I'm in the air and I do the, the left trigger move. I slam down, yes, but I slam down in front of me and it would actually be really nice if I... if I slam down... Oh, ow, God. Uh, it'd be real nice if I slam down specifically, like, directly below me instead. Drop attacks are kind of hard to aim to begin with, but, yeah, it's... Oh, it's kind of pointless giving feedback. I mean, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Some Sometimes developers will absolutely...
uh, actually care. Some developers can't. There we go. Looks like the gargoyle does a fair bit more damage too, which is kind of nice. Yeah, Kirby style instead. Yeah, exactly. Freaking fart trees. Used to go to college and I had a bunch of uh, dogwood trees. Hello. Equipment store. Whoa, little skeleton. How'd you get in? I've heard some people accidentally drift into places. Uh, drift into this place, but a skeleton. Anyway, welcome. It's your first time here, right? This is a subspace in the demon world that my ancestors created a long time ago. For now, it's being used as a shelter from Carleon's invasion. You're looking for the Demon King. Perhaps you should talk to the other experts in the shelter. Good luck finding him. I'm going to eat some fish now. Meow bye. I thought I was going to go for the burger. Hey, you up? I bet I want to try something. Taste taste this. Wait, do you even have a mouth? Whoa, where the food you ate just go? You're way too thin. You're literally nothing but bone. Ha! So restores HP, increases crit until you clear three maps. It's kind of okay. How much money do I have? 20 gold per Carlian item you have upon changing maps. Increases attack by 15%. Attack speed by 5%, movement speed by an amount. Nice to meet you, young skeleton. I've got the finest collection of items in all of Harmonia. You don't need to worry about the thieves here. Take your time to look around. Would you like to make a purchase? I only accept gold. Minotaur. Moving speed reduced. Max HP up. Skills inflict damage on surrounding enemies for three seconds. Tackle, dash attack. Can't multi-dash. Sure. What's this? Yeti. There's snowballs at enemies to freeze. Interesting. Seems like there's supposed to be somebody there, but there ain't right now. So the question is... 20 gold per Carolian item you have upon changing maps. This will pay for itself eventually. But I think let's do Ring of Wind. Hello, friend. Listen, I had my head until yesterday. I lost it during a fight with that jerk. You know who I'm talking about, right? The most famous hero of Carleon. He's not as famous as some of the mages and witches there, though. Carleon's known for its sophisticated magic. Speaking of sophistication, that orc's got some really complex recipes. I wonder what his philosophy is when it comes to cooking. What's your philosophy when it comes to fighting? Okay. So I have a charge, but I cannot... I cannot multi-dash or anything like that. Eh, that's fine. Next room is boss room. Oh boy. One, two, three, one, two, three. I should do this too. One, two, three, four. Here comes the hero. Good, good. I finish like this, and then, yes, that's me. I'm the hero. Sorry, no handshakes. How about an autograph? <laughs> this would be even this would even impress the first hero. I'm tired of being a puppet. Who are you? What's a skeleton doing here? Good. I could use a bit of practice. Be grateful that you'll be featured on the first page of the next Heroic Adventures. Whew. I can do this. Okay. So this guy, this guy hurts. Luckily, Gargoyle is... Luckily, Gargoyle is pretty good. Okay. 
No, he got me. Kind of figured as much. Things are ouch. Oh, let's see. Add trait. So how much do I have? 92. Can I put... No, so I can't even spec slowly into that. Question is, what do we want to do? I'm gonna do that. 16% extra damage is not much. I don't like meta progression that involves just like flat damage bonuses generally. I prefer meta progression that unlocks new and interesting features and options. Um, mainly because I generally. I generally always feel like roguelike should be beatable on the first run, unless it's like roguelike to see. And even then, Rogue Legacy is, like, only partially a roguelike to begin with, so there's that. Um. But, like, I've played a lot of roguelikes recently that are very much not designed to be beaten on the first run at all. And it's not that it's, like, too bad, it's just kind of one of those where it's, like... It just feels kind of unsatisfying to know that, like, yeah, you can't beat this without grinding, and it's like, ah, I don't know. I think uh, grinding for me right now is is the cursed world. Yeah, Rogue Legacy is beatable on the first run. Yeah, but it's freaking hard. Like, like I said, like, that is very much something for very specific people. Um... And not for, like, most basic players. And I think that's okay. But, uh... Like, you have to be an expert Rogue Legacy player to beat it on the first go. And most basic users are not. And won't be. And that's actually quite okay. But, you know, it, it is... What did I say? Ninja! Jump once after a double jump, ghost dash, invincible during dashes, multi-dash count plus one, primary attack, swapping, okay. Shit, that's good! That's really good! Ninja Skull's nuts! This combo is obscene. <laughs> like... Dang. Obviously, it locks me into a long animation. Long animation. But maybe it's okay. Increase the max HP by 45. That's pretty good. Oh, I see. That's that's where my buffs are located. There we go. Nice amount of healing. But yeah, I almost feel like the meta progression should be more focused on, like, higher quality of healing drops, uh, more rooms before the boss. That actually would be a really neat feature, by the way, is actually just extending the run a little bit before you reach the boss so you can power up a little bit more. shot. Though it does seem like I'm getting a lot more healing items.
Because, like, I'm actually back up to full health already. I'm curious what the logic is for it. Yeah, better skulls being found. It's just improving the skulls that you do find. Okay. Uh, increasing... In decreases incoming damage. Here's that. It's also myst mystery meat. Um... You know, this time around, I'm going to buy the Insignia. I guess I could have maybe bought the Pegasus, but I don't think I needed it. Oh. I'm just going to wait here where it's safe. That's the boss door. We Maybe a bit of attack speed would have actually gone a long way on this guy. Oh, and that's a that's a HP bit. Yeah, so this should be a lot more fun fighting the uh the hero. Oh, different hero. Some kind of weird whacked out nun. Got her. <laughs> well, that was easier. Matagolem. Decreases incoming damage by... 10%. Mana explosion. Damages enemies in a certain range and sends them airborne. Oh, it's a use item. Got it. Hello, could you help me? I'm in the middle of running an errand and some bad humans are after me. Please, make them go away. I'll give you something I cherish. Well, I tried going high. Didn't work. Excuse me. There we go. Thank you. Now I can leave safely. Face bug. Attack increased by 10%. Throw face bug to stun an enemy. I think I prefer mana golem. It is pretty dang strong. Oh, it's the rider skeleton. I had this one previously. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I l I'm digging the uh, the money per Carolian item. We will have to. We will have to. Uh, these guys are really inconvenient. Okay, there we go. Oops. Uh, we will have to pick up more next time we're in a shop. See if we can really scale up the amount of money that I'm rolling. Wow. I... Boy, this game has no balance, and I kind of love that, actually. Like, it's just kind of like, all right, here we go. Uh, here's just a bunch of wild shit. Have fun with it. Oh, man. I don't even know how to, like, describe this as apart from, apart from just being like, it's kind of nuts. Uh, 
Okay. There we go. Took some damage there. Things are definitely getting a little harder. Unsurprisingly. Let's see how this goes. Which are you? Hunter! See, I like the idea of a ranged character. But I don't think it works well with this. I get it. Well, at least we are healing someone off in here. As that, that is a bit of a relief. Hello. I think that man had other plans. I had a bike. Uh, let's see. Cuz I don't have too much here. It's weird. I don't actually know which is better. So I truly don't know which is better. We What was your plan? To face the bike man? Somebody hasn't been watching EDF. Somebody hasn't been watching EDF at all. Boy, howdy, I have cash. Oh, somebody take me shopping. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, hey. Can I break it? Hell yeah. Cash money. Boy, I have a lot, actually. Whoops. Ow. That hit, hurt a bit more. Oh, go figure, it hurt a bunch. There's a battle shrine right here. Nope, alright. Okay, there we go. Hello. Oh! This is one of the uh, townspeople, or the, the people that's back at base. I wonder if that's the meta progression for this game. What? You came to save me. I hunted more than a hundred humans before I got caught. And they sent to rescue... All, all they sent to rescue me was a little skeleton. You're kidding, right? Go bring the Demon King. What? His castle was invaded and he was captured. What about the witch? You saved her. <laughs> I'm like, I'd believe that. The humans are strong, their heroes are especially powerful. But now I'll go check on the Demon King castle. I'm sure I could stop them with the other senators. As for you, I don't really care. Take care. Please tell me I at least get some food, healing, shopping. Hell yeah. Uh, that's kind of good. Okay. Why did the prices go up? The items didn't get better. That's dumb. Did you miss the part where you saved the witch? I don't think it's in the game yet. Actually. So what's this? Naya's. Oh, it's a use item. Well. Not super interested in the cake, but we should heal a little bit, plus the damage is good. Speaking of damage. I think it's boss time.
Okay, I don't know what she's up to. Oh boy. Got her. That wasn't too bad. Cyclops, skin shield, 20 for 4 seconds. That's actually pretty good. That's okay. But yeah, the witch is basically the tutorial. Um... Yeah, more HP is pretty good. You're right about that. It's good. It's just not... It's just not this good. Okay. So air attacks as the ninja are really risky. Very risky, I don't like that. Damn it, I eat that. There we go. Anything else? Yes. The environment's got a lot hairier. Not a fan. Uh, let's see, anything else? No. I could use something that heals. There we go. Shield's pretty good, though. I will give that a lot of credit. got some health back. Yeah. Okay, temp, temp shield is good stuff. I was originally kind of leery on it. I was, wasn't was quite sure if I liked it or not. The answer is no, I like it a lot. It's pretty good. What's up with this area? Obviously, cash money. This feels like the current last boss. Or like right before it. Or, no, zone change. Kalian Gate. Nope. Sounds like a boss. Rives. That hurt. The enemy gained EXP from your defeat. Huh. That's an interesting thing. I wonder if that actually has an effect. I was doing okay. The problem is enemies that are high up on me is are like high up in the sky are kind of a pain. Anyway. It took me ages to collect all this, but it only took me a moment to give it all away. Oh, so there it is. So Skeleton Sword, Chance of Bleeding on Enemies. So yeah, that's the other section of the meta progression. Still can't get Bone Gun Barrel, damn it. Uh, let's see, what do we think? Max HP or just sheer raw damage? So that's... Is that going to be 40% or is that even... That's going to be lower. 
If we've got... Yeah, it's going to be 40%. I was hoping it would be 5%. Uh, 50%. Alright. Yeah, on the bright side, we can get iframes after this run. Nope. Not really. So, I wonder if that's actually the last boss of the current version, or if there's more. Could be. So it looks like this buff makes me attack even faster. I don't know. Okay. One way or another, enjoying this, it definitely feels like a... It's still in a rough state. Okay, there is more. Still feels like it's in a rough state. It's one of those where it's like, I like... I like the uh, the direct game gameplay loop. I like I like the upgrades. Those are going to be kind of interesting. It does still feel kind of clunky though, and more that I'm just kind of like button my ma button mashing my way through. And maybe it's just because I've been playing a lot of Hades and Dead Cells lately, and that sort of thing. It, my standards are temporarily very high for whatever reason, so I'm just kind of like, yeah, it's okay. But I do like where they're going with it. Because, like, the different the different skulls that you put on that change your gameplay, that is something more games need. Because it keeps each run feeling fresh. And that's something a lot of roguelikes fail at. And so that's actually something I really appreciate. Pixel art's pretty dang good, too. I think we could do another run. 